Lexi Murphy? Here. Jean Honoro? Here. All right, that is all members present, so we have a quorum. Our first item on the agenda is to approve the agenda for tonight. As you see, there are two pages to it, front and back, I should say. Do we have any changes to this as we know? No. Nope. You know right. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the tentative agenda for tonight. I can second that. All right, Jean with the motion, and Carol with the second to approve the agenda for this evening's meeting. If there's no further discussion or questions, we will call for a vote. All in favor of approving the agenda for tonight's meeting, say aye. 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 And opposed, say nay. All ayes, motion carried. And we are. We do have payment claims, claims report, and the additional. Yeah. The additional is just that short, just that, that short one. No, it's a long one. This one? And then there's oh. this little guy. The little that's oh, that's I one I Oh, in the okay. back of the packet, I think it is. Yeah, that one in the back of the packet. Huh? That's where mine is. Okay. I did say it did. Yep, yeah, I got it. I don't think I got it. Keep looking, Jeeves. I will, I will. It's only four of them on that little video. It looks like one. this. It's oh. almost a blank page. Okay, maybe yep. I do have it. Yeah. Just, just started at the front. I hear you. Okay. There it is. <laughs> Found it. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? Uh, I did. Um, this is Justin Stammer. It says Snow Blade slash Skid Loader. What was that for? Uh, what did we use to clean oh, the bike path? And oh, we just borrow his? We, we've been borrowing it for years. Oh, really? I did not so know that. Oh. We just, yeah. So we just bought it? Did we buy it then, or we yeah. run it? I bought it. Okay. Bought it. Okay. <coughs> okay. Cool. What's Resco? You probably told me, but I don't still know what that it's is. Electric supply company. Okay, that you had to get whatever. Is that where you get clothes? No. Resco. Sweetbriar. Sweetbriar is the uh, wire that we bought. Electric wire. Four out, four out, two out. Okay. It's like the service wire for houses and whatnot. And uh, back to the safety apparel that she just brought up. So is that once a year you buy so many for the guys, for all of you, or what? That's on the front. The ultimate safety one, or which one? It says um, border. safety apparel, border states. Border states. No borders. Yeah, that's, that's once a year, and um, that's always budgeted. Yep, it's like 400 something a person then. For the four guys? Um, most of it's for me and Kate for our FR clothing. Oh, for your stuff that way. Uh, uh, can I bring that up right now? I, was, I thought of something. Are you guys, do you guys wear shirts like mine out when you're out? 
We have the best that we Okay. I, I want to make sure you guys wear those because people will look at me funny when I have this on, but boy, I tell you what, I can, when I'm driving my truck and I'm loading stuff in and out, I can see people. We're all required to wear them. So. Mm -hmm. And who knows about the one in theater? Did we approve to, was that for the bathrooms, or does anybody know what that whole back that's, construction is? He did a grant. He did, yeah, he did the bathrooms. Yep. Just the middle yeah, yeah. The grant where the, we hold the, 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 the grant is in. 20, 80, oh, okay, 20, 20, and then you just, they pay the bill. Yeah, so oh, okay. Did the yeah. grant cover it, or what was it, how much? Yeah, yeah, so far, no, but we had a look They must have a little bit of extra money because they did they do the countertop and uh, that was partly the concession in the stand. Yes. Well, the bathroom is that improved immensely. They had a little well, bit they have to be yeah, just they are. for just nice. disabled people, too. They are now. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. And then the one on the back page, the VC3E. The city hall subscriptions, what's that for? Backups, I understand. What is it? Oh, I don't know, that's different. You're only like 500 something. Which one do you want to see? $431, is that the one you're yeah, talking about? Yeah, that's the one you know what that is, Pete, or uh, Scott? PC3E. It's G city, general city hall subscriptions is what that looks like. Is that this? Computer software. Oh, yeah. so you know what it is. Yeah. What's the one below it? <clears throat> Vector? That's, that's, that's your safety. safety board. Oh, okay. I think that's just our yearly, what we have to pay yearly for, for like Lindsay, and I think we had a little money in there for, well, Lindsay's wages and then the vehicle and then the safety supplies that she uses for our safety meetings. Fuel for the fuel for the vehicle. And, and this the, is oh, every. She's, a, she's the safety lady. She, yeah, and then the, there's ten towns on that, and they all pay a percentage. Oh, okay. And this one here, uh, that's your hydro tool, the Browns. Well, you said you have to use one. Oh, this one is like six grand or forty. That is actual. That is curb stops and oh. valves and. Whatnot. We just kind of we run low on all of our all of our water supply, so we ordered better get it stuck back up. Yeah, I'm a little, yeah. Yeah, because I see in here. Yes. What's up? What's up? Well, well some of the are in here, and some of them are in here. So it's very, like, confusing how we have three different pages for a point. So we got the 6,000 yeah, something on the one we just laid there. And well, it says the paint's right on top. I know, but there's, there's another sheet here. Though. There's yeah. three yeah. sheets. Yeah. And yeah. But then, see, there's one of the same ones in the book. Of the, like you got somebody who made another copy of this one. So you think it's all the same? It's all the same. same. It's all the same. It's all the same. Oh, okay. Then I'm, because uh, I thought we don't want to double them up here. Yeah, this. Okay, so it's over it's again. Duplicated. Oh, cute. Now I understand. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions or explanations? So the claims we are approving, we are approving, include these four, and that's the only other list, correct? So the, the report, official report. 30th and then the October 3rd for additional claims. Right. The other ones are the same. Okay. Okay. I'll make the motion to accept them. Okay. Motion by 
Let's see. I'll second. Approved payment of claims as listed on our claims report and the additional four. Any other questions to ask? Well, yes, I can call for a vote. All in favor of approving payment of claims for September, I guess, for October. Uh, say aye. 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 Uh, and opposed, say nay. All ayes. Motion carried. Claims to be paid. All right, your minutes are included in the packet for both meetings. Hopefully you had time to read through those. I didn't notice anything. I thought they all looked okay. I don't know if anybody else seen them. See anything? I'll make a motion to approve both the 9th and the 19th. I'll make a motion by Carol to approve both. All second. Minutes. And the second by Jay. Anyone have any other corrections or clarifications? Hearing now, I'll call for a vote. All in favor of approving the minutes from September 9 and 19 for regular meetings. Uh, say aye. 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 And opposed, say nay. All ayes. That's approved. Thank you. Okay, the next one is the resolution to approve the DOT detour request for the Highway 10 West Bridge replacement. Excuse me, Brenda, before you go any further, I have a letter I would like to read to the group. I know my name is not on the agenda, okay. and there is a reason for that. And that was that I had hoped I would hear from someone before tonight's meeting, and I would not have to present this letter. However, I did not. So I would like to read this letter to you. <clears throat> the purpose of this letter is to provide written proof of the fact that I am hereby resigning as a city treasurer, effective immediately. I am unwilling to continue in this position for several reasons, the most prominent of which is my not being allowed to perform in a timely manner the treasurer's duties to which I was appointed by this council and many previous councils. It appears to me that you have no concern that the account balances shown on the office computer and the bank balances actually match. I am not accusing anyone of intentionally making a mistake when posting, but transposition and other human errors do occur. How further, I am not willing to donate the many extra hours that I have spent in the city office trying to complete the reports for May and June while someone scrolls through hundreds of account pages on the computer looking for a number that matches an electronic debit or credit on the bank statement. Actually, in most cases, that is unlikely to be a posting to one account, but in fact requires trying to find numbers to add together from several accounts to equal that total. Another frustration for me is the total lack of communication from your office. When I attended the council meeting on September 6th, I discussed the suggestion that had been made that I not be allowed to take any documents from the city office to my home to prepare my monthly report. And I was told, we will look into it and get back to you. I have heard nothing at all from anyone until about 15 minutes ago and have received no information with which to prepare a report for July, August, or September. You are now three months behind in having a certified report. I can only conclude that this lack of communication is a move on your part to raise my frustration level to the point of resignation. If that is the case, guess what? You won, and you should be ashamed of yourselves for your unprofessionalism. Included with this letter are the three office keys that I was given many years ago, one to the front and back glass doors, one for the clerk's office doors, and one for the drop box in the back of the building by the alley. Here's my letter of resignation, and here are the keys. Thank you. I don't know if you need to 
panel to accept her resignation. I don't know how that should work, but I, it sounds like it's not negotiable on her end anyway. But um, for that matter, does anyone want to accept it? Can we do it since it's on, not on the agenda? She uh, added her bit that way. Well, now we gotta come up with another plan. Well, it can be done in house. It doesn't have to have an outside source. I never knew that. But how are we three months behind? Well, we wouldn't be doing September yet, anyhow. Okay, two months. Two months. Well, because I brought the May and the June, and I, when I got it home, when we got it on the sixth, mm -hmm. I checked what we had originally approved from Jenny's, mm -hmm. and neither one agreed. So her and I sat down in May. It took her about 15 minutes to say, oh, I'll bet it's the CD interest and it's the outstanding checks, which is exactly what it was. We clicked. June, we did the same thing. Only thing, she was still off some dollars. I don't know if it was 100 and something or close. 100. It wasn't a whole close. lot. Very close. So she said, I have to look through. But she was working on another thing for Scott and helping with. So I said, We've approved it, but I said it's still got to, we got to make it match. And so she never got back to me, but I don't know if she finished it that day or how that went or if they I know finished it today. We've been working on it all day today. Really? Because it was yep. still off? And yep. I don't know, if, did they get it? Yeah, yeah, she found where that um, where that low amount was. Okay. We got that fixed. Okay. But it's, we are behind. And it's, that's right. Yeah. So now, hopefully, you guys can go forward yep. and get yep. the She's, July she was here August. all day today. She's going to be here all day again tomorrow. So hopefully okay. we can work through some of this and, and right. try to get caught up. Yeah, Jenny. Okay. Yeah, and so then we will have to decide, and I think that has to go through the council how we want to actually have someone do the treasury report. That's the way I'm understanding it, and it can be um, one of council members. It can be the mayor. It can be Scott. We just have to have two <coughs> people actually put their signature on it and then come to the council to be approved. And the reason we know that for sure is because that's what Premgar does. They have their city clerk and the mayor do it. Then their city clerk does it and the mayor. Mayor it, goes it, over it with her. With it. Yeah, and then he signs it and then that's how they take care of it. And they pay nobody. And yes. that's how theirs works. I guess that's something we're going to on the agenda we're talking about. Yep, so that's what we need to do. Right. My guess would be we would probably have to put it on next. Next, the next agenda. Right, and then to, hopefully we can get two to, months done no, or three to, months done. To approve a, re a resignation. Oh, right, approve that and hopefully we can get ourselves caught back up. Because it wasn't on the agenda. No, it wasn't on this agenda. It talks so. about uh, removal uh, from our side. Huh? Resignations may be made by all council members and officers to the clerk or mayor. Well, did not say anything about approving them or uh, how we go about approving them? How we approve their removal resignation? No. Talks about appointments. <coughs> mm -hmm. The council shall appoint the officials and prescribe their duties. But it doesn't say anything there even if an appointed person resigns? I don't think it needs to be done tonight. Huh? I don't think it needs to be done tonight. I don't either. No, let's put it on the agenda. Let's put it on the agenda so we do it right. Yeah, then yeah. we do it the right way and then maybe we can have something figured out how we're going to at least have a discussion how to carry it out. Right, so we'll have to appoint and finish it as far as the ordinance. Okay. So. Sounds good. Hopefully Janice can give us some information and Carol from Primgar on what that means. Okay. All right, returning to item number seven on your agenda, the resolution to approve the DOT request, detour request for the Highway 10 West of Bridge Replacement. When will they start this? Is it next summer or? Uh, I think it was I, in March. They wanted to start the detour around March. Weather, I mean, weather permitting one month. At one time they were going to do this this year. It was where, the where is, yeah, I don't it's see it. Yeah, yeah, we, we got two years it's ago. The yeah, little, two miles it, west of town. So it's like by, like, yeah. it's out there. by okay. North Church. Love Bud Creek, Creek yeah. it's called. It's down yeah. where it cascades. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and they're going along Maple Street for the. Yeah. Okay. You've got to go clear to Goshen's Hall place out there, and then the 143. Yeah, four miles south, six miles west. Yeah, that's in the detour. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Because you write on local. Yeah, local is a little gravel. But right. right. Yeah. But it's, it's a lot of people. Yeah. They didn't know it was called Mud Creek, though. I didn't Maybe we can make a little body, Nathan. You guys <laughs> just sit there with the radar gun. <laughs> I think Mark Lang will make a lot of money with the car wash. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I bet we'll get a lot of complaints. Well, it'll be in the paper, too. Yeah. So. And when they're starting this this summer? Next summer. You next thought summer. next spring or so? Yeah, I thought it said in there somewhere. I thought they were going to start in March. They, yeah. It looked like they were going to do the one that didn't take as long. Yeah, Did you write right. that on there? Yeah, I read that. Because well, weren't they supposed to do one and it was supposed to come like on Maple Street, like the B tour, I thought, but maybe this was something, a different one. I thought they were going to do a bridge and did it, except we had to do that. That was that was it, but they were a year off. Oh, okay. They had to wait. Yeah. But then they did a different route because now they're not coming on Maple Street. No, they, they are. Okay, like, See, and if anything, if they do any damage to the street, oh, they have a paper. So, when did they come in and inspect yeah, it the shows if you look on that little map and okay. show it. They must, let's see about doing that. You know, because I remember the original one, they said that when we, they showed it, they said they would, you know, if there was any damage, they would fix it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody on the streets is going to be. And then, will there need to be a little boy coming in? Um, sidewalk crosswalking. Yeah. 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 Especially by the bike path. Can we help you? Uh, uh, I need to talk to one of the officers. Yeah. Well, I'll get the officers. Cops. Cops. Who are you, officers? <laughs> Uh -oh. Which one's on duty? <laughs> they both are, aren't they? Oh, oh that's cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we can. Now, whatever happened to the. You guys still have that flashing thing? Didn't you say somebody else was using it now? The no, no. The, they, years ago, the, the school put up a, a flashing light up on oh, the highway. And it was laying on the ground in front of Joe Mueller's. And that's actually the school's property. And Dan Moore put that up. And that turns on at a certain time every day. He's because he programmed it and it flashed. So people can see that on uh, that crossing. Hmm. So you got you have that then? It's back on there. Oh it's okay, cool. Yeah. I never noticed because I seen it laying on the ground that one time. So we have to approve. Make a resolution. Make a resolution. There's, There's a written resolution for it. <laughs> I mean, I don't see anything like that back there. Did we approve something before we had it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
words. <laughs> I think it was in that originally that way sense. Who actually somebody contact us on this? Scott? Got an email. Email from the DOT. Okay. Yeah. I was I was just contacted back to and asked them did we already vote on a resolution on this or are okay? Because I know originally um, I think the mm -hmm. first letter that came out was last December. That's when it was first notified of it. And yeah, then, we were notified. I think it was a couple of years ago. I think it was too, like Lindsay yeah. said. I think it was the year we started. Yeah. But I don't ever remember approving. I think we, we just it. talked about it and said that once this comes up, we better approve it because if we don't, then we have the maple tree, but the insurance they won't. If something damaged, they're not going to pay for it. If we yeah. don't sure. approve this, yeah. if something happens yeah. and we approve it, then their liability for fixing maple Street if yep. something cracks or breaks so yeah. that's why we have to approve it that would make for sense how long, how long after they do it i think it'd be i don't <laughs> so i would think they're probably up to a year perpetually yeah. there no. has to be an amount there has to be an amount once you hit your tail lights it's done for but yes no they i don't think we did anything on no board. i think I we just talked about it and that's all we talked about because it was supposed to be this summer yeah. so it was two years i thought why did we do that
but that's pretty much what it would be oh, other yeah, than having sure. our number of resolution on the top, which we will get after the fact. Did you want us to do that first, just so you have it? Well, it'll probably go all together better. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. And this. they don't have a date on here that they're pushing to say have it in by such no, and such. I don't know. It's an no. email, but it wasn't super detailed. For some weird reason, this doesn't look correct. Yeah, look at the, the 143. Look at the beginning at the intersection of Iowa 3 and 143 that's south four miles to 143. Yeah. yeah. And then come over. They're going this. They're going that way. They're just coming from the west. 143 yeah. that way, and then over and then up. So our cars. Because the, the so the so the so if I'm correct, this is Highway 10 up here. Right. Right. Oh yeah, you're right. Highway 3 intersection. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm yeah, it's that three. It's 10 and 48. Yeah. So that. It's 10 and 143. Not, he's, they're doing three like down by Cherokee. Yeah, that's. This is that way, 10, not three. Yeah, yeah. So, so, right. so. Yeah, you're right. You'll, you'll have yeah. to. I mean, you'll have to. They're going to have to redo it. Or type it. Or send them an email and tell them to correct it. Or, yeah. Right. Something. Yeah. 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 Yeah
All right, these two uh, next two items were discussed, um, brought to our attention by Lexi. They do not need to be have action taken, but you, <laughs> we can bring up the discussion. So we have the floor to discuss the motion to approve the removal of the decorative downtown trees and repair sidewalks. Um, are we? Are, we it, are those trees actually ours? Are they? They are ours. They're ours. Did we get okay. confirmation on that? Well. Who did you talk to? I've talked to different ones, and they said that they thought Crew Brown did a lot of it, started it, got it going. But, but then the sidewalk is ours. Yes. Yeah, it's in the city right So it's in the city right away. I know, but What's, I don't think we want to take all them down. You guys have nothing yeah, else to do. I, I mean, I could get time to go. Yeah, but I don't think they need to take down 20 trees right no, now. No, we've got enough of those. I think they got enough to do with this point. Okay, okay then how about, how about next spring we take them down? Well, let's so see. Let's, let's, let's take down. time with we them. Got limbs we, we need take to them down on a wire as needed basis. Right, I think it should be on an as needed. And the businesses should be the ones that complain. But if it's in front of their place, if they say, hey, I'd really like this out, come to the city or talk to Kelly and he can bring it up and then go ahead. But I think he has, I think those guys have enough to do right now. And since you guys know how to actually do it. get those dug out, you know, I don't think you need to be doing, what you say, 20 something? I think years? there's at least 20 of them. I counted them. I thought, oh, I was thinking there wasn't hardly any left. I mean, no, they, they go yeah. all the way down. Yes, the, down by the herd. They're so yes. like, annoying when they like shed though. Yeah. I know, but it's we've lived this long with it. Flower. I know. We're not going to die. Well, you know, one thing One thing that I noticed is like when they're, they're plowing snow. And they're I know in the they, way. I know okay. they've trimmed them up. But some of them can be in the way. Yeah. Um, so and then if you walk down the sidewalk, down. you can see where the roots have heaved some of the sidewalk. Yeah, I know. So they're I doing agree. some sidewalk. So what, doing sidewalk. so what happens if someone falls like Jean, oh. no offense, Jean, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. breaks their jaw? We're going to be paying for it. Um, well, we've done this for 20 years now. I think I we can just slowly get into it. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd like to be positive about it. I, right, I'm not, yeah. I'm not seeing anything negative. Like, I'm saying let's get something some, different. There are some things that have happened over the years right. because these trees have gotten right. larger. Yeah, right. they weren't supposed um, to do that. But no, they, they weren't supposed to get that big, were they? Um, they were supposed to be dwarfs. But I like the trees they're downtown. They're I nice. do, too. They, yeah, it'll nice be to something. See them. Yeah. 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 But, but, but if you ever drive down the street, it looks so weird that you have all these Yes. This trees on this side and this other that side. side is empty. This side of town is like anti-tree and this side. Is <laughs> 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 and they were the ones that started it. Tree haters, tree haters on one side and yeah. tree haters on the other side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so I think we just need to meet in the middle and get something. I think we should put it up to the businesses. If they see that their sidewalk's getting bad, call and yeah. say, hey. It's I mean, unless you guys see it yourselves. But well, maybe, well, if it's a tripping some, hazard, let's get rid of them. Let's do it as a positive. Maybe some as community needed. members might have some ideas. Yeah. There are know? some getting to that point where possibly yeah. the yes. trip hazard. You right. can see them on and I think then, the, the ones down here by the theater was doing that. Yes. And I think it should be as on as needed. Yeah. Not 20 trees gone. You know, so, when it's, it's, do, you guys, do you guys trim them up? Ever? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Leave them lower than just trim them. I'm sure I'm going to be stirring the pot, taking these no, trees down, but no. sorry. No, I think it's it's I'm just going to need something different. And so, if we're going to be getting new light poles from way down the road. But I think then when some of that gets going, then we know we'll finish it. Yeah. Right. You know, so. typically when they, when they do a tree in a sidewalk, they have a steel grain that's Around larger than the concrete. Oh, okay. That way yeah. the roots can expand and the trunk, the tree sure. trunk and the roots can expand out. Yep. Right. Yep. They have room to grow. They're pretty big. They've grown. They have. Well, yeah. we yeah. tried Since to figure out them. a date on them. I still haven't heard that for sure. What? I've heard at least 20 years. Oh, well, yeah. It's what? at least 20. When they were put in. trees were put in. Oh. Yeah. Figured in It was just after I graduated. Which cool. is what? What year? Okay. No, well, and, um, the Saunders said 94, but I thought it was more like closer to 2000. But I don't know. Nobody knows. It's a mystery. Well, it's hard to find out. I suppose we could look in the minutes. It's a day or two. Ago. Too bad Fru's not mm -hmm. here. He can tell us. I know. And you know what? Yeah. Just so yeah. I would just say just pick if they're yeah. starting to get better, then yeah. start to take them yeah. down. And then ask who's going to say me. That's what we did with the, I think, three we just took down. 
Yeah, perfect. If they leave the sidewalk, yeah, that's Yeah, so if it's starting damaging. to leave it, then fine. But maybe the businesses could let you know or call the city and Scott can say, hey, we got a couple of them. Before, I don't know, even like the dead ones we did take down, we talked to business owners. Yeah, and I think that's only fair. Talk to them before we did anything. Yes. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, do we need a motion made with that? No. Let's get Oh, you no, no way, sir. And I think if looking going forward, we're possibly looking at doing uh, some street lights and yes. Mm -hmm. and I was just talking some, to Kelly something about something unique, and, and we could you like come up with a something. nice project that would incorporate some decorative yeah. street lights and other things where right. you know we, if we remove the trees, that would possibly yeah. replace right. replace right. that. Um, just something to think about. Right, and there might even be some lovely little committees out there that like to work on that besides us that they can come back with some ideas there's a lot of small towns that have their committees that right. you know, went in and redid all their sidewalks and then have and, them give and, some ideas and, and it's not just up to us to decide and then we can help pick and choose and i know that one time we talked about ripping up everything downtown and redoing it it's going to and you know, someday we're going to have to replace have Main to. Street. Yeah, yeah that's you're right. right. So that could be part of that. You know, that can be that part of that project. Time. Even I was over, over in Amor a few go. months ago, and, and they redid theirs, and, and they put new curb and gutter in so far out, mm -hmm. and then they blacktopped everything down the middle. You know, and it looks really nice. Where is that? Amor, no, or downtown. Yeah, I mean that would be a whole downtown renewal project. Yeah. Either whole or Boyden did theirs. And they had the same company that did Maple Street, and they were got it done. And I remember when they were doing. We had a problem with Maple Street. Right? right. Did they have problems too? Yeah, they did get it done. So. so. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we will just ignore that item at this point. Uh, Mr. Do you want to also then have the same effect on number? No, I think we just need four four hanging plants. Okay, what I want to know is though, have, do, have we bought the other 12? We bought all 12 of them? We bought, we just, we just, just from last year, but this year they're probably going to go down and be like, this is what we, this is what we want. So we'll pay okay. for it next so, year. So, so I really we haven't we, brought them all down there already, or have we? I haven't done anything. Oh, that's good. Good job. But I really think we just need four. Well, let's see, because I do like them. I think they're pretty, and I know. Yes, you have to water them and all that. I know. I think it looks what, nice. What if we put the four in the middle, and then on each end of each of the these Bowl main hearts? streets, we put one on each side? So then you got it. Where yeah. do we? Well, then we might as well put the other four. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. We might as well put the other one. Honestly, like in my opinion, if I have to go out and water four, if I have to go out and water twelve, it really does I make a lot of difference. Water. Yeah. I was just thinking of saving. I mean, like. We spent what twelve hundred or whatever some dollars on flowers. We well, we did the that. Okay, two thousand twenty one, whatever is in the two. And then we had KT do all the pots. And then KT do all the pots. Like why another seven or eight? Right. So why don't we just do the four hanging pots and then KT does the rest of them? The ground ones. I, I, I think yeah. I think and what we should do is probably focus on saving that money and putting it towards. You know, a renewal downtown renewal projects like the street lights right. and that yeah. sort of thing, instead of spending it on flowers. Don't get me wrong, I like the flowers. I like, I think they look awesome, but I do. I think we could use that money in a different way. And I'm sure we're gonna have some people complain. Well, sorry. And then if you we, we well, then you're asking for an idea. Exactly. Yeah. If we do a yes, if we get some ideas and do a downtown renewal, we can always go back to hanging uh, flowers. flowers again. Yeah. We have to make a motion because I will make a motion. Well, that would save the, you know, if we had volunteers, that would save the city. Right, doing time. it. Time. But the thing is, are they, because I know they're down lower. The fireman could come out with the new squirt truck. <laughs> <laughs> that might kill them. It might make kill flowers yeah. everywhere. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> work here. <laughs> yes, it does. Only 100 PSI. Uh. And I think, like, the, the cement flower pots, we, we did that once. 
Yeah. We don't think we want to go back to I those because they were a hassle. They were. They were a pain. Which ones? The cement four. We cement had big cement. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, yeah, no. Oh, we got those other colored pots. Those are fine. Those colored ones. Those colored ones. I think just colored ones. Yeah. Okay. Now who does those? Can you guys water those too? Yeah, we water those too. So you could do. You could do four. Hey, Eric, stand up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you guys approve it every year. Okay, so what date you had about this time last year? No, I think it was. He was in the fall. Right? Mm -hmm. was it? Yeah. Did the, he did the power line. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so that's right. I think he needs to do that again. Like, we have, they'll come up with that stuff yeah. again. Yeah, that was yeah, the whole one, right? Yeah. Well, that's a whole different thing, though. Yeah. That was the color. It was a not even a sticker book. It's a little book. I even got it signed by Kelly. I did too, and then I had my son sign it too. <laughs> Kate signed one, and then Kelly signed one. I'll make the motion to approve the Bright Energy Solutions Power Team Education Program. And we're going to our shares with us, right? All set. Okay, I have a motion by Steve and a second by Lexi to approve this program for the fifth grade cost sharing with Primgar. Any other questions or concerns? Or I will. Well, can you do this? We have to get a lot of go, you know. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 And opposed say nay. All ayes. Motion carried. Okay. Okay, the resolution to approve the change to the employee handbook. Payday to Wednesday. Yes. Well, Don't now, that's your only change there for that. It's just the one word. We don't want to do We technically do not. No, so just have to that. file it away in the in just the have, book. I put it in just the have to make it because it's in there. Yeah, we have and to. You're ready to roll with that, Scott? We got to get some information entered into the computer yet for all the employees, and then I got to get over to Sutherland tomorrow okay. and show them what we have, and just so we can verify that hopefully, hopefully we're ready to go by next Monday. Okay, sounds perfect. Well, how many you got going? With it? I want to say there's close to close to 20 okay. with all the library ladies and okay. and what we have here. And I know there's just a couple here that are not doing it, but. Good. But they all get their checks from Wednesday. Yes. Okay. Whether they're automatic or not. Right. Okay. Well, I think we talked about this last time, but they have a choice to participate yep. in. Yep. Yep. So instead of a resolution, it really just needs to be a motion to approve that you agree to that. It's again, it's an operational issue, not really a policy change. But Did they say will there be like a hiccup for the first time ever doing it, or no? Didn't think so. Okay. I know um, Whitney did a, a test a few weeks, well, it's been more than a few weeks ago now, with just one, and it, and it cycled through good. Okay. And they didn't think, as long as they got it by Monday morning or late Monday morning, and then between Monday afternoon and Tuesday, and then everything should be in the accounts by Wednesday. So. Mm -hmm. And everybody was okay. I mean, your employees were okay by having it changed to Wednesday? Or? Yeah. Yeah, no complaints, here. no verbal written complaints? No, nope, nothing. I mean, there there was some concern. I mean, I don't think just a little heckling back and forth, but exactly. I mean, nothing. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I did anyway. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get to pay two days earlier. Yeah. Later. 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 Later in this yeah. case. Well, so later in this case. But it's better than what we were talking Thursday or yeah. Friday. Yeah. Much better than Friday. You get paid on yeah. Monday or Tuesday. Oh, you only get paid on Monday. You know what he's saying, that's it. Right, I don't listen especially Right. Do we have any other discussion on that, or are we allowing that? Uh, come on, let's so make that. So we just make a motion to. I'll make the motion to approve the change for the employee handbook from payday from Monday to Wednesday. I'll second. And Lexi and Jean to allow the approvals or change to the handbook, which is stated as in the page here, section 12.4 on payday. Uh, any other discussion or questions? Scott can answer those for you about how it works or what. So after next week. Yeah, after we have to get a report next week, we all hear probably. Yeah. Otherwise, all in favor say aye. 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 And opposed say nay. Yeah. <laughs> I just about did that before, too. Aye. 
sorry, I did not meant to say anything. Well, especially if you make the motion. You were under my control. I tell you what to say. I say nay. Okay, open opportunity to address the council. Anyone want to say anything? Well, you're probably wondering why I'm here, huh? Yeah. yeah. So I, I have met all of you. Um, I grew up in Paulina, graduated high school here. My wife did. We moved away in 1976, gone 46 years, and now we've moved back to Paulina to make this our, the rest of our lives home, hopefully. Welcome back. And I was just curious to know how a council meeting works around here, so I'm here just to learn what you guys do. Awesome. Glad no, to really be back. Concept. And thanks for all of your service. Yeah. see a lot of you around. That's awesome. And so are you living in the... We've been living in the garage, okay. which is a bit form of a garage, but as of the last week and a half, we actually moved up to North Willow Street and we're living there now. My office is in the Ganae garage. That's okay. the main reason for having that is to have a place for my office. My wife so, is retired, I am not, mm -hmm. so I, I continue to work. All my clients are virtual, Colorado, um, Arizona, Minnesota. Um, I do accounting type work for them. So. Okay. And you still work for a church, right? No. No. What do you do? So, so I, I just, I do, I, I'm a licensed CPA oh, okay. in Minnesota. Probably not going to stay licensed. What I do for companies, you don't need to be licensed because I don't do audit, you know, no. work. Uh, I don't do tax returns. I help them with their financials and budgeting and things like that. So I've been doing that my whole life, my whole career. My wife worked for a church. Okay. So she was finance administrator for a large church, about $3 million annual budget up in the Twin Cities. And she retired from that in February. So we're just glad to be back in town. We so, call it living the dream. So <laughs> who's the house did you glad to have you back? We, uh, we had bought the middle uh, Jeloma triplex unit for my mom and dad to live in okay. five years ago. Sure. Which lasted 14 months until they both ended up in the nursing home. Okay. That's kept what it I was thinking. Place, kept it as a place to stay when we you know, visited back here. And a couple of years ago, we decided to you know, make the move and started moving towards that. Oh, good. And so now we've you know, kind of totally remodeled the inside of it and we're in the process of moving back. You're getting good at remodeling, aren't you? Yeah. We're, we call it investing in Polina. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. It, it, it looks nice what you've done over there. Yeah, yes, I'm just thinking it's neat because it I see you sitting outside a lot in the evenings. We did last night or yesterday. We did pull the chairs back inside, so it's not our you know evening. We we call it you know so we spend evenings out there all the time. We call it our our concrete and steel neighborhood. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so we still call it the garage, but it's just. Yeah. Lot, that's how a lot of people are building houses now, big old machine sheds. Yeah. True. Yeah, you see that. Or barns like. Yeah. 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 So, again, thanks for all you, all that you guys do. Appreciate it. Thank Look you. Look forward to the continuing improvement of Paulina. So, thanks for all the new staff. Now you can bring up some of those ideas for our betterment. <laughs> for your wife, maybe. Yeah. Being she's retired. Oh, we have all kinds of ideas. There you go. <laughs> Not me, not yet. You know. not <laughs> not yet. Yeah. All right, thank you. thank you. Welcome to town officially. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Good to have people come back and be happy to be here. Yeah. Hopefully that continues. All right, we're on to reports. Kelly got a question quick. Are you still in my alley? Huh? I can't pass in my driveway. Go from the north side. I was just told I can't park in my own. By who? By my own. They said I could park on my driveway if I need to. You should be able to drive in here. Okay. It's going to be one day, Lexi. One day, okay. One day, it will be fixed tomorrow. Why can't you drive home? Hey, okay, Allie. Okay, anyone for. We wanted to address our. Anything else there, I guess. We have a, the options for time tracking. We're still exploring, I think, in your payroll update we were essentially nope. did. But is there anything else on nope. that regard? You have your time September hours attached here in purple. What is GIS in those purple hours? The only one that's got any well, mapping. What is GIS it? is the mapping we just purchased. Oh, it's with that. Okay. I didn't know what it was. And what was the schooling for? Rich and Josh, do they take some more now? Hours that they are working on? Yeah. To update them? And they're, 
think the beginning of November they're going to they're yeah, scheduled to take the test. The test. Oh, Spencer, is that how they, they do it? They do it both water and sewer, or just water? Just water Because right Mike, is he still coming from program? Yep. Anything from our police department? Just we're putting the twenty eight E in the front now, which is okay. them both out basically we shuffle. The days they cover we had to shuffle this to some some other shift, so now there's gonna be two of us on some days. Is he in the academy yet yes. then or no, that's yeah. coming up at some point. Does he have to do the whole thing or does he do part he's gotta go to the full one? Yeah, so then you're able to definitely be going on. That's like, well, six, I don't, six, yeah, I don't know what we're going to yeah, do in there. That Nobody's might get mentioned you. anything. But I mean, the, the theory is this is a straight back and forth. So yeah. when he's gone and not able to hold up his end, don't know well, That's kind of why we were muted before. Like it never went out of like right. effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Because he wasn't giving time, we weren't giving time. I heard that. Unless he wants to work on the weekends when he's not at the academy. Okay. Um, Richard, anything else for Scott? Nope, I don't have anything. Yeah. It's right after you. That's okay. Well, we got the concrete work done, Main Street, trees, and a few other spots around town. Had to replace the uh, water line at Doug Myers. We are responsible from the water main to the shutoff. And anytime we dig up a line and see lead, we have to get rid of it. So he had a water leak up by his house and they replaced it from the shutoff to his house. But when they dug up by the shutoff, we noticed there was lead there, so we had to get rid of it. Um, Fixed the overflow pad at the reservoir. Been doing a lot of potholing and underground work. Um, 100 blocks of Maple and Clark. Lexus Alley. Mm -hmm. And she can't park in there again. <laughs> we did turn the bathrooms and got everything blown out at the concession stand. So the bathrooms are closed. Gone on some fire calls. Set up and tear down the parade, uh, electric disconnects and reconnects, treated lagoons for the last time, I believe. Replaced the curb stop at Carbotech, fixed the water line, which was the same deal. There was lead there, we had to replace at Mary Iverson's. I uh, did some potholing by Scott Lushers. Had a good sized branch break this weekend at the park. Me and Rich clean that up. Fixed probably half a dozen street lights. I believe there's some more to do yet. Um, fixed electric at the fire station. Uh -oh. Got the mud back from Tanborn. I had to fix the mud back and get the other mud back. But what do I got? Um, I talked to you today about the switch gear. She said, with what we have, and I mean, it's up to you guys to approve it, but it can be done with the money we have, or if you guys want to get a loan, or what you guys want to do. I guess I'm just going to keep pushing on it until yeah. something happens, I guess. It would be I think now. it's about one point. 1.34 million or something to get it done and I think we have two point I got it written down somewhere we have about 2.6 2.7 million dollars in the electric budget plus 200 in this year's budget I mean we could use a lot of that money to get the ball rolling get the because it's going to take at least a year to get the equipment so we can start paying for it this year and it would be no. now we had an engineer actually do the estimate is that do we have to go back to him and have him do he just did a a rough draft a rough draft 
So we actually have to hire an engineer because it's over the 50,000. So yes. the DGR is the only one around with electrical thing. Beck, I thought Beck was getting one. They don't have electric as of right now. I mean, anytime we've gotten electric to them, the last time it was a guy out of Des Moines that would have to drive here, and I'm sure we paid for his hotel room and paid for him to drive eight hours. And yeah. what? So what do we? What's their first thing we have to do? We have to get back. I mean, uh, DGR back in here and actually sign a thing for them to be our. I think we just need. I need yeah, the approval, need approval to, to to have them start the process. Yeah. We don't have to still take bids or anything. Uh, well, we'll have to take bids, but DGR oh. ought to come in. And and DGR already has set up the specs. It, DGR already has a lot of our electrical stuff yep, engineered. You, so that, you felt comfortable with them, but but we still have, as a city have to bid it, right? Yes. It'll get bid out to different companies yep. to do and the work. Yes. Yep. Okay. Because maybe so that's something we should put on the agenda yeah, about yeah. Now, yeah. next time to talk do, about. Yeah. Do you put on the agenda. And if you now get, maybe the DGR guy can come to me. What the process is and get everything on if they want to do that. Like you said, let's get stuff. We might as well get started on it. Right. And then we don't have to mess around and spend 100000 on that switch gear. Right. So, Zadon, do you think we should do it right now? Yeah, you just need some more. It's a new one. It's called. Yeah, find out what it is. I know. You said that process. If he can write those, you get that. Get over tomorrow. And then we'll have to prove them properly to go ahead and be the engineer of choice. And we do already have uh, $10,000 for this year in the budget for engineering for the electric department. Well, that's good. That'll take me. When they do that, do they go by a percentage of how much actual cost is in the project, or is it a fee? I can find out. I'm sure it's a percentage. Yeah. Now, with the, what we're doing here, and this, all this new stuff, that will put us in the toward me before we kind of um, we've got the next centuries of electrical or we're going to be good to go on the ground. Yep. Okay. And all the all the stuff you're putting underground is compatible with the stuff. Oh, that's another thing we got to talk about too. After we have done that, we need to go and start going downtown and go on the floors up higher. I mean, if you want a lot done, you're gonna have to hire some. I mean, we've, yeah. we've got a few blocks there this year. But yeah, that's that's yeah. what I'm saying. You guys can't do downtown. No, that's. Yes. Yep, this is a good start. This this equipment will protect. And that's why he is. I mean, it's it's our protection, and it's not in the best condition right now. It's gonna last us. I don't know how long it'll last. I mean, that switch gear and stuff. That's what protects our transformer in town. What was the flash last week? That was uh, a bird. <laughs> if you want a picture of what. Was it a squirrel or a bird? It's a turkey vulture. Oh, thanks. Did he get zapped good? He's fine. Yeah. Oh, good. Mid America had a problem. I'm not sure where, but Sutherland and Paulina, I think Calumet and somewhere else all flashed. And My wife walks outside to the grill and comes back in and they go, I said, look at the microwave, look at the stove. Yeah. So, yeah, it flashed, started on fire. And hollow yeah. ground That's good. and started the grass fire. Yeah, it was oh, good. I got a whole bunch of calls for that. Like two and a half miles? No. Right out by the old road bridge. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I called. Oh, you're fine. That, that's part of the job. I just, yeah. Yeah, so I feel like the 30th one, you're just like, yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you guys just need to go out and have a look at it. Unfortunately, I sent him the picture too soon. I just gave him a throw it on his step and say happy birthday. Oh, <laughs> there's your turkey for the year. Yeah. Well, we can get that switch gear on. on yeah, I was going to say, let's talk about that next later. Week. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, and have a discussion about that. We're going to have him give a DGR and 
Well, we should get it on the next. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
So that would be the bill plus 5% because it costs <coughs> something to have Scott or Whitney send out the bill. So, and I think 5% is a very reasonable rate. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I guess if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. So, okay, so the replacement you said we would add 15%, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, that's all on the back here. Okay, but so then why would we, and then the 5% is like if, like, say, like, so, like Brian came yeah, with us. Yeah, if Brian came with okay. us excavator, we would fill Brian's whole bill <coughs> plus okay. an extra 5%. 5%. Got it. Sure. Okay. Okay. So, so yeah, and that's, that's, you know, that's across the board. Right. It's not just something that we do. So, because, yeah, I mean, our equipment is very expensive to replace. Um, I just got fire gear in this last week and that fire gear from the last time we bought it went up 30 percent oh so, how long ago was it so that was 2018 when i bought my last gear now this gear so yeah 30 percent same with our um our scbas they've gone up are you like on a rotation, like who gets new gear yeah, every Yeah, so no. that's part of what I've yep. started, capital expense. So um, I'm trying to get back into that as a five-year capital expense schedule. Because, um, yeah, I, I don't want, I mean, I can get, I try to get every grant out there possible. But yeah, that only does so much, and you can only get FEMA so many times. So the first time we got the bulk of our grant, 25 sets a year, I got with the FEMA grant. But I mean, I don't want to get us in the same position as before, have to try to figure out how to replace it all at once. So that's my goal now is to every other year get two sets a year. So like this year, I had a guy come up that was due for gear, a newer member. And then what I'm doing is the second set of gear, I picked one of my interior tap guys and he got a new set of gear. So um, then we'll keep all the, I talked to Orange City and Sioux Center, they have a lot of extra gear. Um, so. I'm trying to get us caught up so we have extra gear, but like Warren City and Sioux Center, if they would have an interior structure fire, every single interior person takes their gear and that's decommissioned and they put their backup gear on until that is all clean and put back into service. So, so yeah. Makes sense. Do so you yeah. ever Tech have to dump some of it then that it gets well, sent back? So Gorda Dairy had a tractor fire where a lot of hydraulic fluid and diesel fuel got out and we ruined nine sets of gear that night. So any type of hydrocarbon like gas, oil, um, concrete ruins gear, um, Ankeny had that, they had a rescue situation happen. That they lost like five sets of gear from concrete. So yeah, there's different aspects. So some of this gear we can, like if there's specific spots on the gear, we can send it off and get repaired in specific spots. But like that nine sets it ruined coats and pants. So um, they were covered. Yeah, they, they were, look like Dalmatians, so oh they're spotted, <laughs> so well, that we actually did an insurance claim on, you know, because, so yeah, but I don't really want to do that okay. again, yeah. so no. that was not a very fun discussion, to say the least, okay. so, so yeah, that's kind of where we go.
Yeah, I guess the resolution as far as our fire billing, I don't know if that legally has to be posted, what our billing schedule is. I'm not sure. A lot of towns just have the ordinance that they have the authority to bill. They don't post all their changes. Changes. So I'm not sure why 2006 was way before I was in the position I was in. So I'm not sure why the resolution was written. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm planning to do this yearly instead of 20, well, not quite 20 years, I think, so. Close. 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 So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And maybe we can write it in there like that. The updates as needed. So, uh, well, I guess the big thing for tonight, I just need the blessing from the council to move ahead with the hazmat thing so I can get that people to show. Because you have nothing for hazmat data. I have nothing for hazmat. And, oh, we can and that I why I'm going this I mean right now in the county we're covered because the county does have oh. it's just our city limits that is unprotected, which okay. you know I mean I'm hoping we never have anything, but I'd much rather be protected than wish we were protected Can because hazardous materials, that's the most expensive part. Um, or does something have to be, does it have to be written out? Like, on the an object, like even though it's kind of on here to update the hazmat? Well, we need to see whether we can need to amend what's uh -huh. there or okay. just Start a whole new one. I recommend just adding a whole new section because that's what everybody else has done. Yeah. They keep their fire service as one section and put the hazmat as a second section, yeah. its own section. Yeah. I just think even the fees page is, you know, right now has a resolution to it, but yeah. we, can we, so what, what, I, I never even realized we had a resolution. We found that when we were digging, digging for other so does it have to be something that has to be on the agenda before we can make a motion and a resolution? It probably has to yes. be a resolution to adopt the right. So it has to map, right? So it has to so. Yes. So. And the, you have the three. They're all three the same. Yeah. So the that has to be theoretically all the same. I feel if we write it up, we should do it like Sheldon. It's very readable. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the yep. nicest one. Yep. Those three. Well, yep. it looks to me like and they're all the same. It looks to me like it, it comes from the. So that dictates what how to do it. Uh, yeah. What the ordinance should be. Right. But if they type like that, if you look at the city, uh, city, our city ordinances, that majority of them are the Iowa code. Okay. So yeah, that would be fine. Is that something you want to write? Is the yeah. I can copy and paste really good. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, I will make a motion to table it for next, but put it on the next, and we can make this. So we have an actual resolution yep. to do the hazmat. Yep. Yeah. I'll get all that typed up and say <coughs> city of Plano, and I'll bring it in. So. Yeah, I'll second this motion. Yeah, I don't think we need a motion to take action. So okay, it's just on his okay. report, so he's yes. Good. wanted him to explain it further yep. so we know what to bring forward. Yep. We still have yeah. more though for next time. Yes. Next All right. So our next item of discussion is a new applicant for the fire department. Is this young man, Wyatt Rassel. He is currently employed at AgriVision full time. Um, what my goal is with him is since he lives in Marcus, I would like to bring him on as a member to take day call because that's where I'm the shortest on yeah. members is day call. Yeah. Um, so right now we are updating our bylaws and all that. So it's the process because right now we don't have anything that really says. Um, right now it just says city of Plano and within so many miles can be members. So we don't have out of town. So what I'm changing is, so 
anybody that lives or works in the city of Helena. That's the new verbiage. So it just, unfortunately, that got put on the back <coughs> of the list. Yep. So in here, under regular membership, yep. it, it says um, uh, 18 years of age and resides within the primary response area. Yep. So that's what you're talking about, yeah. changing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just like an addendum then to yeah. it. Yeah, just amend it. So, yep. so we leave it extra, I mean leave it as is but add yeah. this for yeah. people can help during yeah. the day. Because I mean we we gain at least well, we gain two because that Kellen works there too and they're automatic we're automatic with Granville, so we gain Zach as a member. Um, so this would be a second one we've gained. Um, the ambulance and their bylaws right now, it has lived and work in pulling us. So, okay. um, I'm just trying to figure out ways to yes. increase our membership, mm -hmm. especially okay. in day hours, because I, unfortunately, we live in the community that a majority of people commute out of. So, this is a way to gain a member. Good idea. Right. I will make the motion to accept him. I'll second. And then we have the update. And then get the update of the bylaws and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. I think out of the like the call the day out of the like six guys that were there, three of them were city guys. So. Yeah. I suppose. The unfortunate part of I had a heart doctor appointment with my son, so I mean. <laughs> The luck. Well, I mean, very, you know, and to bring point up that Kelly brings up. So this year we've had an abnormally busy year. So here's 31 run reports for this year so far. So, um, yeah, it hasn't been a quiet year. And we still have a lot of harvest to go through. <laughs> So that's why. Were you lining up for the parade the other day? When yes, we were actually <laughs> yep, they were. lining up for the parade when we had the fire call. So. I know, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. And some people thought you were just doing the sirens for no, I was like, get out. <laughs> yeah, I had one person like standing in the way staring at me like, hey, no, I'm not starting the parade. I like, I mean, they thought you were going to be kidding. the first one. No, I'm yeah. like, I All right, get out of here. So, yeah. so yes. Um, did you have enough guys that day? Yes, we had enough guys, and I firmly believe that we would not have been there in our trucks that would have gotten in a standing corn bed by the time oh, oh, really? so a typical you, response and got there. It's a good thing you were ready to go. Yeah. So there is some pluses for parades. Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> right there. Yeah. So yeah. And yep. Sutherland was out on a call at oh, okay. that same time. I didn't know so. Brent or did Primgar come? So yeah. Thankfully Primgar and County yeah, Matt were able to come to the parade and we left our one truck here that we wouldn't have used anyway. That's cool. Sure. So yeah, we took our took the old ninety one on our last fair call that day. So, yeah, for farewell run. Yeah, yeah. Farewell. farewell. Okay, so any update on this fire truck? Oh, right, well, well, we're not there yet. Ah, we we, we kind of saw a squirrel and got off yes. on. Yeah, so okay. yeah. I approved it. No, you you <laughs> made the vote. Oh, oh, the second. I seconded it. Now we got a vote on it. Let's now. vote. Yep. All in favor? <laughs> aye. Approving the applicant, say aye. 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 And opposed, say nay. All eyes, applicant approved. Thank you. Okay, so the exciting part of my my report is Monday at 10:30, we officially take delivery of our new fire truck. Woohoo! Right. Like next Monday? Yes. Do you have to go to Des Moines so, yeah, to so get we, it? We're going to Des Moines to Reliance Service Center, and we'll take delivery there. Are you with Caleb? So. Like almost two years later, we finally. Yeah, it is almost. I can't really believe it's. Like I think that when you guys get back, we need to have a little bit of a parade. So, um, yeah. So everybody wel is welcome to the meeting Monday night. 
So we actually have a fire meeting Monday night. So at 7? At 7, everybody's welcome. We'll have the truck there. And what time then, do you have to be there to get it? 10.30. Uh, I thought that's what you said. So um, then at some point in the very near future, I'm hoping to have a public open house. Oh, so yeah. the community can come see it. Yeah. I wonder if that during the trunk retreat thing, well, yeah, we'll have it at Trunk uh, or Trunk. Oh, yeah, the October. Yeah. So, yeah. Sounds good. Good. So, yeah. Seven. Yeah. Six. Excellent. Cool. Got a place for it? Yeah, so we'll, we'll unload the our old, old pumper. Old pumper that we're replacing. And then um, it'll go. In Did there. we ever figure out what we're going to put that up for bid? Or Old iron, gonna put something on. We kind of slightly discussed it, but I've never made any. Yeah, because we talked about your bread truck and yeah. Are we coming with a old ambulance? Um, unfortunately, that's kind of a uh, standstill because okay. I had to get. Yeah. That's fine. I just was wondering. Yeah. This will finally be one thing off my list as soon as we get the rest. This hazmat kind of stuff will be off my list, so yeah. So, so yeah, that's well, if you need resources, you know where to come. Yep. Okay, thank you. Anyone have anything to add to from any of our committees? Um, the only thing I was going to point out is the Lake Trails. There's a new sign out there. If you've been out to see, they've put an interactive sort of educational aspect with the phone QR codes out there. And um, there's and now every eighth mile, there's a sign and all kinds of extra information. If you haven't walked out there lately, it's obviously a lot easier to do it, but go check it out. And all the library and things. Now it's a whole new sign that um, hmm. Helfter and, and Brasser put together with the county. All out there, like, yeah. yeah, that's right. When you they were doing go to walk toward the lodge, <coughs> a sign with all the maps and shows the routes and all the fun things. And, and when the city of Polina put some money towards that, also, or that was well, all there. I see it said at the bottom on there something to the effect shop, play and stay in oh. Polina, or something it's to that effect. Yeah. So no, we, didn't we didn't, they got all of it, I think, through that a grant. That for O O B E C D or something like there's it's down at the bottom there's a brand it's an alphabet soup thing but that's who paid for that. Probably the Burning County Foundation, right? Could have been head on they went for that though. Anyway. So that's cool. Um, and yes, we talked about building permits. You're gonna have to revert back to them as well. I think that's kind of already been happening, right? Uh, any other comments from council members? I thought at one time we talked about doing a sign on there at Maple Street on those two. Oh, lots. that's right. Yeah. Um, I don't know how that's coming or has it, or I know you talked about it too. I, I know the sign frames. I think weren't you getting a price on those um, for sale signs? Oh, um, Luke McCode and Sam is making us so. And a well. Oh, oh, Todd Hatterman? Seba's was. was. Oh, okay. Seba was, was. We got the frames from Hatterman and we're going to put something out there. Yeah. Get some signs. I keep forgetting. Seba was. Well. For the. What, what's this for? For the whole show. Where we took the house down that we can put something oh. so that people know it's for sale. I mean, oh, oh, okay. um, otherwise, nobody knows that sure. we got two lots that are sitting there for a house is, or whatever. Is there any way we can put that on our city website or we able to add stuff? Well, that would be fine too. Right, yeah, definitely we can add that onto it. That we have, well, we have one over by Steve, still for sale. That's what they're talking about. No, 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 Let's get them all on there. Yeah, true. true. So yeah. How, how is that, since that got up, brought up, how is that? Did that ever, the Bush lot, did that ever get transferred into their name? I don't know when they closed or closed. I know. It had to be by August something. 
from here around. Yeah, it was supposed to be done. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing it's was taken care of. Well, I think it was think, handed to Tish to finish it. I think it? somebody took possession of them. So yeah, there's yeah, some so new too. owners. Yeah. On, I think there's new owners. We had no control over that, though, except for that. It's a sign that um, We approved that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't know like, if they turned in a building permit, and they, because they have two years from when they signed that. Right. Did, so, did, did they have to sign another paper, the new owners, saying that they had two years? They did. They did already? Yeah, as far as I know. But okay. I didn't know if they turned in a paper. Yeah, because it, I mean, the permit only lasts a year. Yeah. So right, so yeah. they play it now. <laughs> Turn in next spring or whatever yeah. we start. Have we heard anything on the Johnson property? No, nothing I yet. Okay. That's got to be close. It's got to be close, yeah. He thought it was. <coughs> yeah, he thought it was. How long did that house up by Rick you said left? Yeah. yeah. They have a three year thing. They have three years. So they got years. another year coming up. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. They're near their field to start. They're what? They're roughly doing something. They so. are starting? Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, because the last time I talked have you? talked to them, they said they they got their budget and it was a little more than they expected. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. So they had it, they were got looking at it. Yep. I know that one time they talked about maybe getting some way to, like how Richards had that. Mm -hmm. How they could go out of the basement that way. So we got to watch that too, though, when we get it prevent yeah. because. You know, all that parking there, too. Uh, you know, I, mean, that's gonna be I think all they requested was one little section. Was it? Okay. Because yeah. yeah. actually, when Richter's comes out, we, the city actually owns clear up in there, too. So, did we ask all that, though? Yeah. We stopped. Yeah. We stopped at the grass. Um, I just saw this the other day, and you brought it up. Pickleball. Pickleball. Yes. Um, this, is there that many people interested in? I don't know. I can can, can we put one like back behind the outfield in the city park right there? Not yeah. Yeah, we can. Well, you know, okay. we well, we'll try to get quotes for maybe a spot there or redoing part of or half of the parking lot there up at Swanson and see if the school will help them on that one. All the, the tennis court ones? Okay. Yes, no. Holding yeah, how's that tennis court? Is it, it's, it's, a, it's cracked out and everything. It's I'll have to get out. permission from the turkey vultures. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> they like it along the fence yeah. there. Uh, yeah. I think we should put it up by the city park. Yeah, yeah that would be a cool place. For I, think we, we I think behind the outfield, lights. right yeah, there, is a big open area there. there. Yeah. I think that would be kind of cool. Well, even, <laughs> no. even you know, where. Kind of. Like during Jamboree days, where they park their, um, where they park the food truck and stuff yeah. there that yeah. this year, and they had those inflatables and stuff. Right. I mean, even if it was a pickleball court, and they could and still set up. They could still set up there. Yep. Yep. And yep. have concrete to be on. Right. The inflatables you probably want them on grass, mm -hmm. but. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. big open area right, right. there. Yeah. I think there is. Is, if we were to have something like that, who would we have to contact? There, uh, Brasser sent me some pictures from Orange City just had done it, and he had the brand name for the nets and the whole you know, information. Okay. So if maybe we should see about it. Is there any kind of or something? Like I think you just sent him a note back and said, give me info. From, uh, recreational stuff, you know, our parks, is there? I mean, I guess I think I'm on the parks committee, I guess. Yeah. You two are on it, I think. Yeah. Lexi and yeah. Lexi, AJ. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe get a hold of Brasser and get some info yeah. from him then. Yeah, he knows the measure out because we yeah. had the measurements. Because right. I wouldn't want to put a fence around it. It's so limited. And, you Can know. you text me Brasser somewhere? Mm -hmm. yeah. But I think that would be a good project for next spring. Yeah, something new about something. Good. Throw a little budget money into it and maybe we can find a gram or something. Well, maybe we could even go into that O'Brien County one, because I don't think anybody around here has got one. So it'll be Ooh, something new. That's a fun. And that's going to be done by April 15th or something, submitted? April 1st. What's, what's, what's that, that O'Brien County one? O'Brien County Foundation grant. Yep, and you just submit what you need and oh, what you're looking right for. To the county. Yep. And then there's that committee that um, hands them out. Mm -hmm. 
to ten thousand dollar maximum grant. So you pour a good amount of concrete at that time. Well, that would help. Yeah. Only that for I that. Then he would be good at rising up the ramp, brass or no. I think in the city park would be in. Yeah, we never thought of that. Right behind center field right out yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of keep it in, keep, kind of keep it in the center of town. And, mm -hmm. and you got electric running close to that. Are too. you getting those lights up? Remember what we were talking about? Yeah, I'm sure there are some in the plugging. That'll be, okay. that'll be part of the purification phase. All She's the plugins. Probably don't need them this winter. Well, no, but. Put it on your to do list way down there. Yeah. I'd like to turn your ears a little bit. One thing I want to talk about is I didn't see on the. You know, last week we, I didn't see it on the agenda. Last week we talked about a resolution for the street closures. Um, oh, that's right. And I didn't see it on the agenda. So, uh, and I just, I guess I'm wondering why do we need. According to League of Cities, which differs from apparently some other information that was obtained and shared with me just minutes before we started, that uh, League of Cities said it is not uh, a necessary resolution requiring to close streets because oh. it's a temporary thing. It's just temporary. It's not like if you were going to vacate an alley or, you know, to, or take a street out of, out of the map, you know, yeah. your choice. I can see that makes sense. It's just a temporary one day. So like even for the thing. October deal and for our parade for the kids and all that, we don't have to worry about it. Just that we know about it. So then you are familiar with the ordinance. The city ordinance, then what it says in there. And what does it say? Um, in chapter two, you can look it up in chapter two, article eight. Okay. Um, it's under nuisances. Um, I guess it defines nuisance uh, shall be whatever is injurious or health indecent or offensive to the sense of an obstacle to the free use of property as essentially to interfere with the comfortable. For property. So uh, underneath that definition in B, it says blocking public and private ways. You know, it's obstruction or encumbering of fences, buildings, or otherwise public roads, private ways, streets, alleys, common landings, places, or burying grounds. So public roads and streets and alleys are in that. So, and that's in our ordinance. So do we update that? No, no, I guess so, so, so you're saying that we have to do a resolution. What page do you have that on? Then? Then? Um, have that on the bottom. It looks like, looks like page 150. It's on traffic information. It does not say that. Uh, Chapter 2, Article 8. <laughs> And Are you this under what letter? Uh, uh, D. D. Yeah. Not said. That says that would be a nuisance. So that would be a nuisance violation. Then if they did that, is that what you're saying? Well, I don't know. I guess I'm asking if we do we need a, resol a resolution for that, or since it's an ordinance, or how does that work? Can we update the ordinance. No, I think the ordinance is, need to be updated. You can't because that's the code of I. That's the oh, Iowa code. Iowa code. Yeah. Well, then to me, it's she Iowa should. Code. The lady in the League of Cities should know that too. Stuff. Yeah. Not, yeah. So we she can't change have. the ordinance because oh, okay. that's an Iowa code. Okay. You, then, you see it there? Yeah. And then let's ask, find out if we have to, or if we can find out. Yeah. It would make it a lot we, easier that we don't need one every time we do some little temporary thing. Well, so we got to do this by next by the next meeting it's not to actually no. to because it's because well, no, we got. I mean, we always we always get a resolution. I know. Yeah. 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 It's October. But if we don't have to, that would be a lot simpler. Yeah. Yeah. So we just next meeting. Well, <laughs> I mean, we but have we time gotta follow rules. rules. Yeah, we have time constraints. I mean, yeah, it'll have to be next, mm. the next meeting. Right, so 17th. find out for sure where we're at with that. Sure can. If we, have to, if we 
in the better it should be explained a little better yeah because that I mean that's a you're definitely out that's an ordinance that we adopted and we use the Iowa code mm -hmm. to do that most of these most of all of our ordinances in the ordinance book are the Iowa code not all of them there's a few that are not but in the cheap seats talk it seems like that when just looking at it from the outside, since it's under the nuisance situation, that that would be more a situation where a private citizen is encroaching upon the alleyway or the streets, you know, themselves versus a public event. I don't think they would categorize that one under the nuisance situation as though if I were just, you know, I block my alley and, and my neighbors can't use it anymore. Right, I can see right. that. So right. That's, that's what I think. That would make more sense. This is just you know, a temporary mm -hmm. deal that is closing for right. an hour or two or mm -hmm. a little longer when they do the chamber stuff. But So there might be something else in there, but I would think that nuisance section would apply to mm -hmm. what you're talking about to do your community events downtown. Mm -hmm. That would right. make sense. Yeah. I think we also need to look at updating our ordinance. But we start have to get them put in the list. Because isn't it, I think it's like every five or ten years? Every five years. Every five years. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, I've heard some of them say ten. No, the Denise told me that too. Yeah, the state code, the state That's code it. requires every five years, if you make an ordinance change, you have to put that. Well, it, every, it's either every year, every year, or every five years, and it's hard to interpret that code. But the way it seems to me is, if you change an ordinance and you have that ordinance, then you have to insert that into your book. Into your book. Right. And then in five years, if those ordinances that you've changed stay in place, you have to um, update the entire book. Code five. Five years. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've heard it, though. I asked Carol when they did it. That's where I'm coming from. Right. She just said 10 years. And we had our last one in 16. So But I know we don't have our last ones on that list if you pull them up. Um, January of 21 is the last one I've seen. Well, I don't know what our city ordinances but the state code um, uh, code of okay a city which does not maintain the city code of ordinances as provided in the paragraph B shall compile a code of ordinances at least once every year every five years um, in B a city may maintain a code of ordinances either by comp compiling at least annually or a supplement to the code of ordinances consisting of all new ordinances and amendments to ordinances, which will become effective during the previous year and adopting the supplement by resolution or adding at least annually new ordinances and amendments to the ordinance code of ordinances itself. So what that's saying is if we change, if we change an ordinance in our book, we have to insert that ordinance in our in our code book at least every year. Sounds like once a year you get it annually, you said. Yep. And then, it, that was B, and then in C, a city which does not maintain the city code of ordinances as provided in paragraph B shall compile a code of ordinances at least once every five years. So is this code of ordinances like in a, I'm just getting a spreadsheet, so you can just go in and insert or delete or things? So you have to type them all on. When I looked at them just on my computer, that's how I was looking up a couple different things. And you can go in there and see what we've updated. Okay. But I don't think they've been, for a while now, all our ordinance changes are actually listed now. I mean, we got them. So we have the original ordinance and then the changes below it then? The changes are all there though. Okay. That's what needs to be updated there. And then you do the actual big one where you have somebody come in and they do it. And then it says that the council shall hold a public hearing on the proposed uh, code adoption, which would be the, the new ordinance. And the city clerk shall publish notice of the hearing as provided in section 362.3 within 30 days. And then the council may adopt the new ordinance. So that's just kind of a formality. I think we do that already. Yeah, we do it like at least two times or three. You know, but I did a little research on that, and it has to be at least uh, updated every year and at bare minimum every five years. So we're already delinquent. 
So yeah, we're already past that. Well, I mean, I have a number. Like, can I like to that does that? Can I call and see? Like, well, there was a guy that had called this summer. I think I've got his number. Uh, Maybe it's the same person, person we're thinking. Yeah, it could be. We'd have to touch base. Yeah, because I still got it, and he had called about doing it. So he can go in and codify. I guess he goes in and finds everything that's been updated for ordinances for us, and then. Um, is he a private guy, or is he working state? Um, I don't know. Um, I have a phone yeah, number and the name. I have a yeah. okay. phone number and the name is all I got. Because basically, we we follow. You know, our ordinance follows, mostly follows the code, the state code. And then if the state code changes, then our code, then our, our ordinances have to change along with that state code. If we're using the code. Well, yeah, I was going to say only, only if, only if it's something that the city is bound to follow the state law. I mean. There's a lot of stuff in there that you basically the city co-adopted, mm -hmm. but unless it's one of those laws that specifically trickle down that you have to follow when the state changes it, you wouldn't necessarily have to change it. Right. Okay. It's all stays the same. I'll check with you and yeah. you will figure out if we got the same yeah. person. Okay. Find out what they charge and what they do. Yep. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. See where we're at. I move we adjourn. I second. Yay. Oh shit, just second to adjourn. And I'm gonna have to drive all the way to where we have any questions or I will call for a vote all in favor of adjournment. Say aye. 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 Call say nay. Don't say no. Don't say day. Yes. 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 Yes.